Hi guys, just wanted to show you how you can um, enable uh, the analog and this will work with any Android. I'm using an AYN uh, Odin Pro, but this will work with any 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 uh, controller or like if you wanted to put a PS4 controller on here as well, that would work fine. Um, so if we just go into RetroArch here and then we come down to input, which is on the second tab here. Um, then you go down to where it says port one uh, controls. It's a device type here and you've got three options and it'll say retropad with analog. And you would think naturally that you should have it with the analog, um, um, but you don't. Um, if you, what, what, what a lot of people are saying online and stuff is to have retropad with analog and then have the analog digital to digital type, have that as left analog. Um, but this combination works. So you want to have the device type as retropad and don't have it with the analog, which is, I know, silly, but that's what works. This is what I figured out. I was just literally sitting here for ages, just trying different combinations, trying to look on the lot online, and this was the one that worked. So if you have retropad with the combination of uh, analog to digital type as left analog, then it will work. Um, so if I show, and make sure when you do select that, you come back and you click configuration file and then save com current configuration file. Um, so we'll just show an example, um, just playing this game. Um, see, as you can see, I can move around with the analog stick now, and I can also move around with the D-pad as well. So if I um, equip RetroArch now, and then go and set this to input um, port one controls, and then I set this to RetroPad with analog, and then save configuration file, and then play. Um, you can see I can't even use anything, like none of the controls even work whatsoever. Um, and that's what you'll find is that they won't work. So yeah, that's the, definitely the right combination to use. Um, so if I go back in, obviously you can see that I, I can change it back to that. What I would also suggest that you do um, is to set all the controls uh, from here. If you click set all controls, it will give you like a... Um, it'll go through all of the controls on your D-pad because sometimes it just sort of defaults to whatever RetroArch has, which I I, I don't think helps the situation because obviously I'm using an Odin uh, uh, Xbox controller as well as things at the moment. But I would definitely set all controls as well. But but this is definitely the right combination that you want um, and it will stop you know anything not working. All right, thanks guys.